One of the most used features of web filter is the URL filter. So let's take a look at the URL filter and let's see the different options that are available using the simple method, regular expression method, and the wildcard method. Coming up. All right, so let's start. Let's move to security profile, web filter, create new. And here we can actually set the URL filter. So let's block, let's block the um, the Gazette uh, domain, uh, and let's do it on the RUTLD, which is the Russian version. So URL filter, create new, and let's just set the uh, RUTLD and block that site. OK. So let's use OK. And let's move to our policy and objects. Apply that web filter. Block Gazette. And there we have it. So let's move to our device. And let's try to enter gazette.ro. And we get the message that it is a web page that is being blocked to a being to uh, uh, belonging to a URL which is banned. But we actually blocked only one site. We can also block all Russian sites. So if I move to ok.ro, which is uh, a known Russian site, a very popular one, we can see that we can still enter Russian sites. So to block all the Russian sites, we need to move back to our security profile web filter. And now let's create using the wildcard method. Let's configure our URL filter to block all the Russian sites. So let's name that block Russian and let's move to our url filter create new now this time we will use the wildcard think of a wildcard as just about anything so we will only need to use the hashtag which means the wildcard dot are you and set the action to block so any site the hashtag actually means any site that ends with the r u t l d will be blocked so let's do that all right and let's move back again to our policy let's just enable the um, block russian sites okay and let's move back to our device let's show windows let's just clear the cache before we continue Let's clear the cache. And now let's try to enter the Gazette website and see what happens. It is being blocked. And let's try to enter OK.RU. And we have a message that this application actually stops the Fortinet application, stops Chrome for safely connecting to this site, uh, any site that will be with the RUTLD will be blocked. Now, what happens if we want to block sites that have several TLDs, such as .com, .org, .ru, and so on? We can use the regular expression for that. So let's move to our security profile and now let's create a new security profile let's name that block tld and here we will use the regular expression so to do that we will use the same gazette you know what let's use the um, 
OK um, site. And we will use the backslash and dot com. And we will use that type symbol, which means or. So the or can be org and ru. And now what we actually did is to block any site that ends with the .com, with the org, and the rutld. So let's just copy that and use that on the regular expression. And the action will be to block. OK. Now let's move again to our policy. Let's enable that profile, block TLD, OK. And let's move back to our Ubuntu device. And here we can use the OK.com. Or was it Gazette? No, it was OK.com. And we're getting the, um, again, the message that the web page was blocked. If we'll use the OK dot ru we will see that it is also being blocked so let's move to our login report web filter and we can see that the ok.ru OK was blocked the ok.com OK was also blocked so anytime that you need to block several tlds or you need a more granular matching on the URL itself, use regular expression.